Hi, I'm Karen Williams from cyberdesigns.com. I'm back again with another tutorial. So today I'm going to tell you how to make a slideshow with Adobe Flash using ActionScript 3.0. Open up Adobe Flash, go to the file menu, click new, choose ActionScript 3.0 and press OK. This is the stage or the workspace. The first thing I'm going to do is to change its color. I'm going to choose this color. You can have a color of your choice. The next thing I'm going to do is to change its resolution. That is to 550 pixels and 415 pixels for height. Now I'm going to import the images for the slideshow to the library. You can see the images I've just imported in the library. The first thing I'm going to do is to drag the first image on the stage and I'm going to set its properties, that is its width and height. 114 pixels for the width and 18 pixels for height. Now I'm going to drag the image on the stage and adjust its position. I'll go to the library, drag the second image and again go to the properties and set its width and height. Drag the image on the stage and adjust its position relative to the first one. I'm going to drag the third image. Similarly, adjust its width and height. Now comes the last image. adjust its width and height similar to that of the first three images. So now all the images are on the stage. I'm going to select all of them and align them. Align them to the left edge and distribute their centers. Now select the first image, press F8 and name it BTTN1 and select its type to button so that each image acts as a button. Select the second image, press F8 and name it BTTN2. Similarly, select the third image, press F8, name it BTTN3. And the fourth image, BTTN4. Now I'm going to change the instance names of each image. Select the first one and name it again BTTN1. This is the instance name of the first image. BTTN2, the instance name of the second image. BTTN3, the instance name of the third image. And BTTN4, the instance name of the fourth image. Now I'm going to create two new layers and name the first layer as button. The second layer as slides and the third layer as 
actions. Now I'm going to select the button layer, select its first frame, copy the frame and paste it on the, on the fourth frame. This white rectangle represents the end of the frame. So as it's not the end, I'm going to press F5 and push it further and remove the last frame. Now it's OK. Now I'm going to select the slides layer and for the first slide I'll go to the library and drag the first image on the stage. And I'm going to adjust its and I'm going to go to the properties and adjust its coordinates as well as its width and height. I'm going to set its X coordinate to 140 and Y coordinate to 17 and its width to 392 and its height to 380. Now it's OK. Now I'm going to label the first slide as slide 1. Okay. I'm going to insert another keyframe for the second slide. Go to the library, drag the second image, go to properties, adjust its coordinates as well as width and height. 140 for X and 17 for Y and 392 for width and 380 for height. I'm going to give its name that is slide 2. Insert the third keyframe for the third slide. Go to the library. Drag the third image. Go to properties. 140 for X. 17 for Y. 392 for width and 380 for height. I'm going to label the third slide as slide 3. I'm going to insert the last keyframe. I'll go to the library and drag the last image on the stage. Go to properties. Give it give its x coordinate as 140 and y coordinate as 17. Set it with to 392 and height to 380. 
and I'm gonna give its name that is slide 4 so this is it now I'm gonna choose the actions layer and go to the action script panel to write the code for the different slides for each button first I'm gonna write stop then the name of the first button that is BTTN1 dot add event listener open parentheses mouse event dot click in caps comma play one that is the function name and close parentheses and semicolon now I'm going to write the code for the function play one the name of the first function open parentheses event colon mouse event close parentheses colon void open curly brackets go to and stop and the name of the first slide and semicolon now I'm gonna copy the code for the first button and paste it as it is for the second third and fourth buttons what I'm gonna do is to change the button and the function names this is for the second button this is for the third button And this is for the fourth button. Let me recheck it for any errors. So the code seems okay. Now I'm gonna press Control Enter to compile the slideshow. Here we go so this comes out to be perfect so this is it in the next tutorial i'll tell you how to add transition effects so see you soon again